So, <clears throat> after the round table, it's clear that resilience has uh, several dimensions. Uh, there are aspects related to environment, but of course, uh, especially the social dimension, it was uh, fully discussed. Uh, moreover, when extreme welfare events is really challenging the, the concept of resilience itself. So, one for instance uh, topic that was discussed is uh, are we able to be resilient in front of normal fires? But that question becomes much more relevant when we have to discuss how to be resilient in front of extreme welfare events. So, uh, it's difficult to summarize in, in, in short words, but it's some of the aspects that appear was the need of reinforce the stakeholders' engagement, look for a better cooperation in between agencies, put the technology, be adapt the technology to the specific challenges coming from practitioners to face uh, the needs they have uh, at practical and operational level, and be coherent, putting policies in place. We need to be consistent in our model how to achieve that resilience as a fire community if we want to involve and to engage society, business and all these actors in these big, big challenges we have.